What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again giving you the information you asked me for. Also, make sure you check out the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to get a consultation or ask a quick question. Also, go to uh, the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to make a donation. Help us keep going. Uh, go to Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook if you want to be a part of some of the discussions that I'm having. Also, if you want to check out some of the um, Chaz Asks. Also, if you want to check out some of the videos that I post in quotes. Anyway, the question that I got was from a young lady who said she's doing really, really well on her job. Um, she's, she's educated, taking care of herself in life. She's really doing well. But she said, why is it that I keep attracting these dudes that don't have any ambition, any goals? Um, they're kind of bums. Why, do my, why am I attracting these type of person when I'm so together? Well, one of the things that I had to learn in life is that the people that we attract in our lives are a reflection of us. Even though they may not be a reflection of us in terms of the way that they and being exactly like us, they're a reflection of something that's going on in our lives in a certain way that we're conducting ourselves. We may not notice it from the outside or from the inside, but people from the outside looking in do notice it, and that's why they come our way. Um, I had to really come to grips with this in my own life because it bothered me because I was the type of person, I dated this person for a while that, you know, they smoked, um, didn't really take care of their body at all. Um, just kind of had a kind of negative attitude about things. Didn't really have any dreams and goals. And I was always a person that I felt like, you know, I always had really big dreams. And I always took care of myself. And um, I never smoked and drank and stuff like that. So I was like, how is it that I attracted somebody like this? What is wrong with me? Why am you know, and um, it, it, well, at first I was like, you know, why did God send me somebody like this? Why did I end up with somebody like this? I don't deserve this. You know, I really wasn't taking responsibility for the fact that this was a reflection of what was going on in my life. Because for me, I personally didn't have a really good direction for what I wanted to do with my life. I really didn't have, a, um, you know, I, I, I thought I kind of knew what I wanted to do, but I really wasn't doing everything I needed to do to pursue that. And um, I didn't really have my life in order. My financial situation wasn't in order. Um, you know, my living situation wasn't in order. My friends and family and people around me weren't really in order. I didn't have a control and a command of my life. And so therefore, the person that I attracted and people that I attracted, not just that person, the people in general that I would attract, um, just didn't really seem to, to, you know, have good command of their life. And they didn't reflect what I was and what I wanted to be and how I wanted to be, how I wanted to see myself. So the thing that really came, the, the thing that really was important for me to get my life together in terms of finding somebody was really trying to put my life in order because disorder attracts more disorder. If your life is out of order in any way, maybe your financial situation is great. Maybe you, um, you do take care of yourself. Maybe you have yourself together. Now, but maybe just the way you, you interact with other people, maybe your relationships are kind of off. Maybe, um... You know, your 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 family life is kind of off. Maybe you're um you're not really correct emotionally from things that have happened to you in the past. That'll attract somebody who really is out of order and doesn't have order in their life. Because they just see, it's not necessarily y'all are out of order in the same way, but they look at it like, oh, disorder. Here I come with more disorder. It kind of works like this. Have you ever gone into somebody's house that was just like really messed up? Like it was junk and stuff all over the ground junk all over the counters, dishes all dirty in the sink, you know, bathroom was all tore up and everything like that. You wasn't really sitting there worried about where you put something. You didn't want their place to soil you. It wasn't the fact that you didn't, you didn't really care about messing up the place. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, what can I really do to mess this place up? You know? So you probably left because you were like, you know what? I would rather be in a place that's a little bit cleaner. But, but you wasn't worried about messing the place up. But other people who stayed over there and hung out there were people who were like disorder. They didn't mind that the place was all tore up and dirty. They was like, I'm cool with that. But, you know, have you ever been over somebody's house that was really super nice? Like, think about going to somebody's house and they got like white carpets with not a speck on them. When you, when you got to the place, you would stop at the door. You'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Look at these carpets. This is white. I don't see a speck on this damn carpet. So if I step on this carpet with my shoe and dirty it up, these people will probably sue me. They'll probably try to charge me for this. Is this alpaca? I don't want. I can't pay for this. You know, you'll be in a situation where you would let, you would stop and pause for a second. You probably take your shoes off. You probably um, 
you know, you wouldn't leave anything on the ground. So the only type of person that could even survive in that environment is somebody who's in order, whose life is in order. Or even if your life isn't in order all the time, you'd bring the best order that you had to that situation. You come in and bring your best to put your best foot forward in that situation. Because you don't want these people looking at you like, you know, you're some kind of um, bum or, or you're some kind of, you know, like you're trash or whatever when their place is so nice. You're like, I got to step my game up to be in here or I shouldn't even come. A friend of mine used to work at a, um, a country club. It was a real nice country club. I don't want to say the name of it because they might sue me. I don't have that kind of money. Um, <laughs> anyway, there's a real nice country club that he worked at. And he was always telling me like all the people who would come in and it would be like real top high level people and stuff like that. And one time I asked him, I said, man, hey, you ever have like, um, you know, people like, you know, poor people or people on my level or somebody like, you ever have them try to sneak in? And he was like, no, no, never. I just thought that was kind of weird. I said, man, y'all got pools and stuff like that there and you ain't never had somebody, you know, you know, try to sneak in really and try to get on. He's like, he's like, no, you know, he's like anybody who, who would try to sneak in or something like that is usually somebody who is kind of upscale, but just not upscale enough to get in here. He was like, I've never had, like, just, you know, people who obviously didn't belong here try to come in. And, you know, I was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But he, and then he asked me, he posed a question to me, he said, would you try to sneak in here? I was like, nah, bro, because I already know I couldn't get away with that. He was like, but well, there you go. <laughs> so it makes sense. You know, what we bring to the table is going to affect what kind of people come to us. And if we bring, if we have a life that's in disorder, we're going to bring disorderly people to us. Um, so a lot of times we don't want to acknowledge the fact that, you know, maybe we do have something to do with the kind of people that come our way, but we do. You know, and I think the better we put our lives together, the less likely we are to attract the people we just don't want around us. So hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man Chazos. Make sure you go to the chazosproject.com if you want to get that consultation or that quick question or you just want to make a donation. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with people that you know need it. Peace.